Ladies and gentlemen, you are encouraged in the comments section, especially if you've been in Hollywood or on a movie set or you have experience in film, to give me your thoughts on whether or not this was recorded, the fatality, the tragic accident where Alec Baldwin had to pull a hammer back of a single-action Colt 45 revolver, and whether he was practicing a cross-draw and moving his arm in a reckless manner, or aiming and firing after pointing at the cinematographer. Give me your thoughts. I had a fantastic comment from a viewer who basically stated something brilliant that I didn't think of, that on today's film sets, the camera's rolling and it's going straight to a cloud or the internet so the editing can take place shortly after and I want to read you this, quote, As soon as someone yells cut, the files are being uploaded to the cloud where anyone who has been granted access can review them. This is an article in Wired. Now, I'm not saying that this is the software, but they talk about a software here, the Hollywood Tech Tricks, getting film crews back on set. These innovations help them shoot from a safe distance. So, there's one, there's one software that is used in particular. I'm not saying that the Rust people use this. Where is this software? Oh, okay, it's frame.io. All right. So, this is a, a, American cinematographer, frame.io unveils camera to cloud. So when they say, well, you know, there's... First they said... First there's there was reporting that said it was caught on camera. That is huge. Because then we could find out if it's caught on can camera, how many rounds were fired. What exactly was taking place. Why he fired the round to begin with, where he was located, when he was given the firearm, when he pulled back the hammer. Then they say, well, you know, uh, because of the, 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 safe, the protest right before the fatality, the fatal tragic accident, they say, well, they were down to one camera. Well, that camera could have been connected to a cloud or could have been downloading all the footage, the video evidence, the film of the tragic accident to another location. So they, ha they possibly have this on the cloud. So frame.io... A secure camera to cloud workflow allows users to instantly upload and stream images from on-set cameras to create post teams anywhere in the world. Now, I am not saying they used frame.io. But why is this important? Well, let's just continue reading. Customers can sign up for the for the okay. Uh, so they probably didn't use this software, but they could have used some kind of a software similar. The interesting thing is that if this was filmed, the question now is, why wasn't there any footage of the armor or Alec Baldwin or anyone else removing the spent casing. Why was the spent casing removed? If the armor removed the spent casing, who told her to do so? And if the response or the rebuttal is, well, they had to make sure the firearm was safe, then what about every other round? 
whether they were dummy or blank rounds. Where were... Who told the armor to tamper or to... Or, or who told anyone? Maybe it wasn't the armor because her attorneys say are saying that she's being framed. So who told the armor or who took out the spent casing and the other rounds from the firearm right after the tragedy? An interesting, interesting thing here that I just read, and this article will be below, Alec Baldwin Russ movie fatal shooting may have been recorded, cops say. Search warrant issued for Santa Fe locations, cameras, phones, and more. The police on October 22nd were aware. This is a deadline article. The police were aware. This is a very important article. Very, very important article. And... The interesting, interesting thing about this article, and this will be below in the description section. My description section is meticulous. Everything is detailed. Everything I talk about is detailed and, you know, just it's, it's right there. All the links, everything. But here, the affidavit also states that the um, that, that 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 everyone involved is aware people involved. Okay, so is aware people involved in the commission of crimes often attempt to conceal, tamper with, and or dispose of evidence. The so. So here you have something that doesn't make sense. At first they say it was recorded. So the Sun and Radar Online and others have, have stated that it was recorded. Okay. Then in the affidavit, the in, inspector finds that one of the people there said there was no video or audio being filmed as it was just preparation of the scene and setting. That makes no sense. If it's preparation for the scene and setting, don't you want don't you want to have film of what's going on? And if and if the scene's not being filmed, why is he pointing and aiming and firing at the camera? Can somebody explain that to me? No, okay, so the affidavit's full of almost certainly not saying. The, so this is this is these were statements to a detective. Not saying that this is categorically the case, but if the ca- if the camera wasn't rolling, which. Earlier reports say, yes, the camera was rolling or filming. I mean, these are terms that are antiquated terms, whatever. Okay, I understand that. But if there was video fo- footage or or there was film or camera rolling or it was being recorded and possibly being sent instantaneously to a cloud or some kind of internet service, so there's a recording of it even if the camera is destroyed, by Alec Baldwin firing the weapon. The fact that the camera doesn't work is probably irrelevant in this day and age that it was destroyed by the gunfire because of the the cloud or the internet or the storage that was taking place instantaneously. But the notion that he was practicing and that they were positioning cameras without the cameras actually working makes no sense to me at all. That's why I'm focusing on this because every single couple of hours, three hours, if you look at this, nothing makes sense. The detective knows, I'm sure, the detectives know, the Santa Fe police know 
that very likely the affidavit and the testimony, many people are lying. Possibly because they feel that they could be guilty of a crime, negligence. The issue is that you have to ask yourself, why was he rehearsing a scene that didn't even... The armor wasn't in the church. Okay? The armor should have been in the church if the scene involved a firearm. Okay. The armor was not in the church. The scene did not involve a firearm, or it, didn't, it definitely didn't involve firing the weapon. If he fired the weapon at the camera, he almost certainly expected the camera to be rolling. If the camera was rolling and then was destroyed by the uh, by Alec Baldwin firing the weapon, there's very likely a backup on a cloud or some kind of service, okay? Not the software frame.io that I said. That was just an example earlier on. But it's very likely, there's very likely a digital component within the camera or it's being stored on a cloud. So to say that the entire camera couldn't have been destroyed and that, that poor woman, the cinematographer, also her life ended and a round fired into the arm of the, the, the director. Now, was the director hit by shrapnel? That wouldn't really make too much sense, or it, it could. I, do, I don't know. Was there another round that hit the director? We don't know any of these things. Because the claim now is that there was no footage, but of course, the original reporting that is below states that there is footage. And if there is footage, it's almost certainly backed up someplace. And the reason I'm speaking in such a slow, methodical, annoying manner is because the more that you look into this, <laughs> it's, it's like the more, the more you look into this, nothing makes sense. That's why I'm doing a lot of videos on this because nothing makes any sense. Nothing makes sense. Do you understand? Nothing. None of this makes sense. None of it. None of it makes sense. Live rounds were introduced on the set. They're trying to frame the armor according to the armor's attorneys. Don't say the armor, I mean, she could have been very incompetent or inexperienced, but she was hired. So Alec Baldwin is the executive producer is in charge of hiring people and their salaries and raising money for the film. So you can't blame the assistant director when people are, oh, the assistant director and the armor, um, they, you know, they're, they were inexperienced and they had bad uh, experiences on film sets before. Well, they were hired. So they were, they were hired by Alec Baldwin. He either budgeted money for the live rounds or the live rounds were introduced some, somehow. Somebody either sabotaged or it was, it was purchased for some other reason. Somebody had to purchase the live rounds, okay? So were they engaged in plinking and target practice, which is, of course, against any rational protocol on a film set? But, I mean, you have... Then there were five people, and this is five people who touched the firearm, but this is very bizarre. I was reading this in the New York Times... And this is so bizarre. It like I'm telling you, it's like this never-ending. On Thursday, after preparing for the scene in a set of a church, Mr. Souza told investigators 
there was a lunch break, and the crew was taken by shuttle elsewhere for food? Well, where did they go? Where where on earth did they go? They were taking taken by shuttle by shuttle elsewhere for food. Okay? He said that they returned to the set after lunch, but he was quote not sure if the firearm was checked again. Well, where did they, where, what? Where did they go for lunch? And then there were three firearms left outside the church for like a couple of hours? Idle? Unattended? This makes no sense. None of this makes any sense. This is absolute incompetence or some kind of deliberate act or something something very bizarre. I'm going with accident, but none of, none of it makes any sense. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now to this channel. Read my latest article in The Federalist on the upcoming stock market crash. Unfortunately, we're going to have a devastating, devastating stock market crash and another financial crisis. I explain in my article in The Federalist and um, subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. That's below in the pinned comment as well. If you want to support my work to my new Patreons, thank you. My Patreon is below in the pinned comment. Thank you so very much. The footage, if there is footage, which there probably is footage, was backed up either on a cloud or in a storage device within the camera. It's 2021. They have state-of-the-art technology. The notion that the, the, the notion that there's no film of him rehearsing is absurd. If there's no film of him rehearsing, why is he even rehearsing? You can't he won't he wouldn't he won't be he wouldn't be able to see what he looks like on film. So that makes no sense. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you.